Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we got a package in from PCGS Bank Note, and uh, we're gonna go through them. I got a few notes in there, so stay tuned and enjoy. Okay, PCGS Bank Note, uh, which Collectors Universe, which is the parent company of PCGS, they take that over there. I'll take this stuff over there. They uh, operated PCGS currency from 2005 to 2009, and then they sold the banknote grading division to another company and licensed the trademark and the brand name for 10 years until January 2019. And when that came up for renewal, it was returned to Collectors Universe, and PCGS now does the banknotes in-house. So I sent some notes down I've had for a long time, and today we're going to go through them. Okay, first up, a 1935 Series C silver certificate. Freeburg number 1612. And it came back in choice uncirculated 64 PPQ, which is perfect paper quality. And uh, excellent condition for a note from 1935. I've had this note for years and years and years. Finally decided to get it graded. There's the back, just a crisp note. And uh, we'll put up the uh, stats on the screen next. Okay, here's the stats on the screen. We go all the way down to the second last from the bottom and we see the population is one, population higher is zero. Now this is early on for PCGS bank note in its new iteration, so I'm sure this population will grow, but right now this note is a top population note, so. Very happy to have that. And this note catalogs out at $50 US. Next up is a 1957 silver certificate. Again, uh, but it's a star note this time. Freeburg number 1621 star. And you'll see this star note at the front of the serial number there. And this is uh, a replacement note because the original note was damaged somehow in its printing. So we have this. And star notes are always collected, highly collectible by everybody. And there's the back. And this came back in Choice Uncirculated 64 PPQ. And we'll put the stats up on the screen for you in just a second. Okay, here's the stats for that one. Uh, we have a 1957B, Friedberg number 1621 star, and the signatures are Granahan and Dillon. Population in this grade is two with three higher. So the populations are starting to grow at PCGS banknote as everybody starts to send their notes down there. Uh, okay, we'll be moving on to the next note. Forgot to tell you that this note books out at $70 US. Up next, we have a 1950 $5 bill, Friedberg number 1961-B, signed by Clark and Snyder. This came back as well, choice uncirculated, 64 PPQ. And it has a wide eye. And there's the back. Uh, these notes are really beautiful when they're fresh and crisp and they're this old. Look at all the engraving that goes into these on the plates. These are all steel plate engraved by hand. All these notes. All right, let's get the stats up on the screen. Okay, here we have the stats up on the screen as well. Uh, population one for this note with zero higher. And it books in currently at 185 USD. On to the next. Okay, up next we have a beautiful $10 note. 1934 Series B. And on the front there we see Mr. Hamilton. And this note came back. Choice uncirculated, 64 PPQ as well. 
I'm very happy with all these notes so far because I have had these notes for many, many years sitting in a binder. It's nice to finally get them all graded. I love all the engraving and, and stuff that goes in on these notes. Now, this is a godless note. There is no in God we trust on the back of this note. You'll notice. But look at the beautiful engraving on the uh, note here. Just outstanding. All that's done by hand. It amazes me. Um, we'll get the stats up on the screen for you. $10 note, Freeburg number 2007-A. And uh, signed by Julian and Vincent. Population 1, 0 higher. And this one books in at 150 USD. Okay, here we go with the next note. This is the highest denomination note that I have currently. Again, I had, I've had this for many, many years. I, I, I believe I looked at my notes and it cost me, when I bought this note, I got it for $53. So $3 over face. It's a series 1934, $50 note. With Mr. Grant on the front. Again, there's no in God we trust on this note. Just a, a lot of nice engraving. That's the U.S. Capitol on the back here. U.S. Capitol buildings. And this note came back at very fine 30. Now that's fine. It's got the dark green seal. And I knew it was used when I bought it, but still looks very very nice when you look at it up close you can see uh, some fold lines in it minor folds uh, but the borders are pretty clean you see the corner folds on some of the corners the borders are pretty clean there's a few little nicks one up the top there uh, but not tearing the paper they're just nicked I don't know what other word to use for that but Beautiful note, and now we'll get the stats up on the screen for this one. Okay, here we go. It's a 1934 $50 bill, Friedberg number 2102A-B, very fine 30, signed by Julian and Morgenthau Jr. Population one, zero higher. It's a Federal Reserve note, dark green seal. And it currently catalogs at $80 USD. Okay, second last note here. Up next, we have a 1950 Federal Reserve note from New York for $10. It's Freeburg number 2010-B wide. It came back. Gem uncirculated 65 PPQ. A stunning note, nice and clean, no folds, no anything. Look at the back. Again, knowing God we trust on this note. But we have the U.S. Treasury building there. Just a beautiful note. Love these notes. And uh, we'll get the stats up on the screen for you. Okay, here's the stats. 1950 $10 bill. Gem uncirculated 65 PPQ. Federal Reserve note. Wide green seal. Signed by Clark and Snyder. Population one. Population higher zero. Another top pop note. But as I say, as PCGS proper uh, does goes along, these populations will grow. And there will be some better than mine, some worse than mine. But uh, this is a very clean note. And it catalogs in at 210 US dollars for this note. So we'll move on to the last note. And we'll see you in a minute. Okay. Last but not least, we have a Canadian note. 1954, $20 denomination. 
It is a replacement note insofar as that the modified portrait is on this. This does not have the devil's face in the queen's hair. They modified it. And this note came back about uncirculated 53. And you'll see there, modified portrait. And it was signed by Beatty and Raminsky. It's a beautiful note. I like this series. I love that, that, that back right there. That is just something else. Again, all steel plate engraved by hand, these plates. Unbelievable the work that went into these bills back in the day. Beautiful color too, I like this color green. And we'll get the stats up on the screen for you. All right, here we go. 1954 $20 bill with a modified portrait, which is no devil's face in the queen's hair. Technically they called it a replacement which it is, it replaces the original uh, photograph of the queen there, or the original uh, engraving of the queen. This note has a population of one in this grade with zero higher, another top pop note, uh, but I doubt it'll remain that way for long. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the show, and uh, we'll be back later on with some more videos. Please hit the like and subscribe button. And uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. That's all for now.